Donald Trump has been dominating the headlines now that he has announced his candidacy for the Republican ticket, but he's not dominating the headlines in the best possible way. You see, when he did announce his candidacy, he randomly decided to pick on Mexicans, and he said some pretty terrible things about Mexican immigrants. Let me give you an example. He says, when do we beat Mexico at the border? They're sending people that have lots of problems, and they're bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists and some, I assume, are good people. He assumes that some are good people, right? Is he not merciful? <laughs> okay, so what's incredible about this story is that Donald Trump has many skeletons in his closet when it comes to the issue of undocumented immigrants. The Washington Post recently uh, published an expose about some of his construction workers who are working on a luxury hotel in Washington, D.C., many of which came to the country illegally and then obtained citizenship status, and some who are still undocumented workers. Remember, these are people who are employed under Donald Trump, the person who claims that undocumented immigrants are rapists. But another thing that came out was a picture that Gabriel Sanchez tweeted out showing that some of the Donald Trump suits out there are made in Mexico. Oh, you know, the land where Donald Trump believes all the rapists come from. <laughs> so Sanchez says the suit that he purchased with the Donald Trump brand cost him about $400. Now Macy's that carried this line has decided to sever ties with Donald Trump because of his defamatory statements toward undocumented immigrants. In fact, um, his line includes products that come from India and China. So apparently he has no problem outsourcing jobs to all these other countries, but then he turns around and he says terrible things about people who try to enter the country to create a better life for themselves. Now, Donald Trump refuses to admit that Macy's is the company that severed ties with him. He's pretending as though he's the one who made the decision. Let me give you his ridiculous statement. He says, I have decided to terminate my relationship with Macy's because of the pressure being put on them by outside sources. While selling Trump ties and shirts at Macy's is a small business in terms of dollar volume, my principles are far more important and therefore much more valuable. The notion that someone like Donald Trump has principles cracks me up. The man doesn't have two brain cells to rub together, much less something as complicated for him as principles. Hank, make your point. Oh my goodness, the principle of having rapists and people you hate make your clothes. I mean, he needs someone to fix his hair. That's the, <laughs> that's the predominant concern that I have for him. But I will tell you though, this is entertaining as hell. And yeah. I actually hope he makes it all the way to the primaries because this, this will be the gold standard of television from this point forward. <laughs> I, it's, my favorite part is how he just thinks coincidentally he, uh, we would all believe that he's going to sever ties with everybody. Right. Like, right, oh, this has nothing to do with your statement, but you're just now choosing to end a relationship with NBC, Get end a relationship with Macy. Here. Yeah. yeah. He's out of so here. full of it. Crazy. Karamo, make I mean, your point. He's a complete hypocrite. This whole thing, like you said, is comical. Mm -hmm. I mean, the fact that he said that he's the one that severed ties, it just shows mm -hmm. his ego. I mean, nobody takes this man serious. I've never taken this man serious. And the fact that when he started coming out against Hillary and the fact that he supported her, yep. invited her around, like, it's, come on now. I don't take him serious. He's a television personality who lucked into a family that afforded him the luxury to call himself rich and call himself a businessman, but I don't truly think he's a smart businessman. Oh, he's not a smart person, exactly, much less a all. businessman. <laughs> so. I mean, he's so oblivious to anything that requires logic or rational reasoning. Yes. He He's a joke. Now, here's the question, though. Have you ever boycotted something out of principle? Karamo. Yeah. I mean, here in L.A., since my first answer was a little risque, we actually boycotted Chick-fil-A. All right. I knew you, you know, were going to say yeah, that. We Stole did. mine. Well, no. Stole. It's the Gay Boys it's panel. True. It's true. It's the truth. This was it's serious true. for this, us. This is what I did. Yeah. yeah this it's was for real. Us. This it's was for like, real. Uh, I, and I still, yeah. to this day, though, the owner of the Chick-fil-A that we were. You do? Yeah, I don't eat there. I mean, that chicken is damn good, though. I but I was so, I mean, I really was disappointed when they said that, because I was like, oh my god, those, yeah. this food is so good. So did you boycott it? <laughs> yes, unfortunately good I did. Good for you guys. I did. did. So my answer is actually the same. I boycotted Chick-fil-A out of principle. <laughs> and then I have a confession to make. Last year, I ended the boycott because their chicken is so it's freaking so good, man. Good. And here's the thing, like... Sin tastes good, though, Anna. Sin, 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 sin tastes sin, so sin good. Sin is delicious. Yeah, sin Ow! Is, sin and hate. <laughs> Woo! It does. It tastes really good. Um, but, you know, sometimes I'll ask for extra sauce and I won't pay for it. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Sorry.
Hey. Okay. That's the protest. That's I'm, right. I'm showing them. That's right. <laughs> anyway, guys, but here's another thing. Um, I've boycotted Walmart because of the way that they treat mm, their employees, yes. and I've kept up with that boycott, yeah. mostly because there's like a billion other options uh, in terms of shopping right, in Los Angeles. Right. But for those who live in areas where you can't do it, I understand. All right, guys, well, tell us what you think. Have you boycotted a business or a product out of principle? We do want to hear from you guys. We want to know what your political views are. And also, what do you think of Donald Trump? Do you think he's making a good point about undocumented immigrants. Comment in the section below and we'll see you guys soon.